we just have the time for one last question. Hmm? What, what is uh, your next book? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I've been, I've been thinking about this. Well, I, I always kind of wanted to write a, a book that all took place uh, within the space of, of a pop song, you know, like three or four minutes long, the whole thing. The story, the idea is that there's this guy, right? And he's totally depressed. I mean, his great dream was to be a lover, an adventurer, you know, riding motorcycles through South America. And, and instead, he's sitting at a marble table eating lobster, and he's got a good job and a beautiful wife, right? But, it, you know, everything that he needs. But that, that does, doesn't matter. Because what he wants is to fight for meaning. You know, I mean, happiness is in the doing, right? Not in the getting what you want. So he's sitting there, and just that second, his uh, little five-year-old daughter hops up on the table, and he knows that, that, that she should get down because she could get hurt. But she's dancing to this pop song in a summer dress. And he looks down, and all of a sudden, uh, he's 16. And his high school sweetheart is dropping him off uh, at, at home, and they just lost their virginity, and she loves him. And the same song is playing on the, on the car radio. And, and she climbs up and starts dancing on the roof of the car. And now, now he's worried about her. And she's beautiful with a, a facial expression, you know, just like his daughter's. In fact, you know, maybe that's why he even likes her. You know I mean? See, see, he knows he's not remembering this dance. He's there. He's there in, in, in both moments simultaneously. And just like for an instant, all his life is just folding in on itself. And it's obvious to him that time is a lie. Uh, uh, that it's that it's it's all happening all the time, and inside every moment is another moment, all yeah, you know, happening simultaneously. And anyway, that's that's kind of the idea. Anyway. Okay.